Hello, and welcome to Getting to Know ACS with Tracy and Jasmine. So today we're going to be speaking with Laylee Barrio, and she is our relocation educator. Yes, she I works am. in the relocation <laughs> program, but she is our Spanish educator. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So Laylee, can you tell us about the Spanish program that we offer here at ACS? Well, the Spanish program the most important thing is that it's completely free for our military communities. So it's great. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so it's a free class. Yes. And what are you going to teach them, the basics or Spanish, or what, what's going to go on in these classes? Well, the special thing about it is that we have two levels. We have the basic one. If you don't know nothing about Spanish, we can get you going. Okay. And then for level two... Instead of focusing more in the grammar, uh -huh. we're focusing more in conversation. Because when you go out in the community, especially in El Paso community, you're going to have the opportunity to talk to people. You're not going to be typing nothing. So you will be talking and hearing. So, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> what a, so you said two levels. Yes. Basic and then level two is more conversational. So what are some things that, you know, if, if I'm Jane Doe coming in to take this Spanish class, what are some things that I'm going to learn? What are some words? Can you give us some words? Of course. Clean words. <laughs> 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 yes. Even though I know everybody wants to know the bad words. Oh, you know, but, yes. but we have to stay away from that. That's, that, is a uh, that. That is a very popular thing. But no, we don't teach that. We, we keep it PG or maybe G. G. <laughs> So, um, so during the first semester, I mean, the, the level one, it will be having all those. For example, to say good morning, we will say buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. There you go. You're already uh, I am bilingual. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Putting that on my resume next time. I know. <laughs> like, I can say good morning. <laughs> Yes. So I know, and this is a word that I always have problems with. Um, every year we have the welcome for relocation. And it's bienvenido. How do you say that one? Bienvenidos. See, I was all wrong. <laughs> bienvenidos. Very good. Very good. And what does that mean? Welcome. Oh, okay. So The only reason I know that is because of that Will Smith song. Ah. To Miami. Welcome to, to Miami. Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Miami. Yes, yes. Okay. So they're going to learn words like that yeah. in, yes. in that second, I mean, the first class. Yes. Okay. And, of course, your basic uno. Oh, yes. We're going to talk about um, numbers. We're going to talk about the greetings. We're going to be talking about... Um, the colors, we will be talking about animals, um, family members, because it's very special and very important in our, you know, culture. Okay. Um, how to address a person that it's, you know, that you don't know or a person that it's older than you or a person that it has a higher position in your work mm -hmm. environment that how to address them in Spanish. Okay, so how would you address someone who is your elder or, you know, someone that has a higher authority than you? How would you address them? Well, instead of saying tú, that it will be the you um, mm -hmm. version of Spanish, mm -hmm. we have also the formal one, that it will be usted. Usted. Oh. Usted, yes. Um, for example, and I'm just going to say this, very peculiar um, <laughs> anecdote. Um, so when I first started over here talking English, I was trying to talk to my supervisors in a formal way in English, but in English, we don't have that. Okay. So yes, we have the ma'am, the sir, and all that, but um, we don't have a translation for usted. So for me saying you to a supervisor, it was so shocking. I was like, oh, my God, how should I call them? Right. But, yeah. <laughs> and it can be, you know, because then in English, someone, if you're saying you, it's like, oh, well, what do you mean you? How are you being, you know, that could be mm -hmm. construed as being disrespectful. Correct. So it's very, you know, I'm glad that you teach that there is a difference. So even that helps even in helping me to understand someone who is speaking to me that has that accent and if they're saying you mm -hmm. then I know not to take yes. it 
any other way besides in a respectful manner. Mm-hmm. So I like that you do that in that class. So that's that's cool. Yeah. And then I know in your classes, and we'll get to the level two in a second, but I know you not only um, teach uh, what to say, but you do a lot of activities in your class. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Because meanwhile, I was searching, you know, how to reach my students through, you know, online classes, because now it's online classes, it is a little bit difficult. So you not you need to engage them mm-hmm. in a way that they don't want to leave. So I will play a lot of games. Right. Um, and like, for example, we have the, the class for descriptions, that it will be adjectives. So I would do it in a way that it will be like a game, and it will be by playing guess who in Spanish. Okay. So okay. they will have to ask me the questions and then we will see if they were right or wrong. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Okay. So it's not just, you know, come in here, and write listen, these yeah. words, no. say these words. So you make yeah. it very interactive for them. Yeah, I really try. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I mean, and, and based on your evals, okay. your students love you. Oh. So... <laughs> <laughs> I love them, too. I love them so much. You don't know how much. (laughs) And then, so then when they get to level two, which is more conversational, what goes on in the level two class? Well, initially, because I took it as this. For example, when you're trying to learn a language, let's say, let's compare it with a baby. Okay. When you're a baby, you start by hearing Mm -hmm. the language. Then you start mimicking and then you will have a conversation. Okay. So that's the same way that I have my class. So the first part, it will be, of course, we're going to pick it up where we left on level one. We're right. going to cover that. And then once we cover that, then we will focus on the hearing, mm-hmm. then the mimicking, and then the talking. Okay. So, and then again, in that class, you know, you you make it, um, again, fun. Yes. And I know <laughs> pre-COVID, you guys used to take field trips around El Paso. Yes, I miss those. <laughs> but, you know, just in case, you know, because we are trying to come out of this normal that we're in right now. Almost there. Uh, yeah, almost. <laughs> so then what are some things, like what are some of the field trips that you have taken in the past with your students? Well, I used to um, coordinate with the museums um, with someone that um, speaks Spanish so they can take the tour in Spanish and they will pick those vocabularies there for my Spanish one and for my Spanish two they understood everything okay so and then after that we will go to a restaurant and they will have to order in Spanish oh so, wow so yeah that's, that's <laughs> like you, be, you you better be on your yeah. game because <laughs> your food may not be what you want <laughs> okay <laughs> and this one <laughs> I would it's yeah. like I love food and I <laughs> So, quick question, on the second level, or even the first level, too, um, how many times can you take it if you want to get more in-depth? As, as long, as many times as you want to take them. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yes. So, yes. you don't graduate out. It's not like, okay, you already took level one. You can't sign up again. Well, you graduate. Right. At the end of the <laughs> semester. Um, but if you want to go ahead and take level one once again just to be sure Mm -hmm. before going to level two yes of course and i have so many students that repeat level two because it's so fun yeah it is so fun (laughs) and that speaks a lot when somebody wants to continue to take the Mm -hmm. class so that says a lot about you as an instructor (laughs) (laughs) and then um how do people go about how can they sign up for your spanish classes and then what is the also what is the duration Okay, okay. So um, usually we will have three semesters during the year, and then every semester is going to be 10 weeks. Um, And yeah, you could call 2915-569-4227 or for ACS, you see. Um, And just press the zero, and that's going to take you to the guys at the front. Um, or you can go online through the MWR website and they have the registration and you just select the level that you want 
and there you go. Okay. So, is there? Have you ever had a case where someone? Okay, it's like they they didn't take level one with you, but then they want to sign up for level two. Mm-hmm. Do you automatically allow them to come in, or do you you know do like some kind of placement test? Well, I used to do the placement test, but once again, people again you know, tend to get like nervous when they're doing a test. So I usually talk to them if we can meet online mm-hmm. or if we could do it over the phone mm-hmm. and say, okay, so you feel that you are ready to go to level two. Do you know, you know, the basics? Do you, do you have vocabulary? Do you have this or that? And if they say yes, okay, great. But some of them, they dub themselves. So I always give them the choice. If you want to, you can register for both. Okay. And then if you get so overwhelmed, because I'm not going to sugarcoat it, um, I give out so many quizzes and <laughs> homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it could be overwhelming mm-hmm. if you do too. I have had students that, that have done both of them, and I, oh my God, I'm so proud of them. Okay. Yes. So um, I have had the other way that they will start on on both and then they will say no 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 I want to keep it on Spanish one and then I have the cases that they will start on both and then they will say no 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 I want to stay on level two but I want to receive the material from Span for level one and I'm like okay no worries so yeah they will That's receive nice. the the material for level one mm-hmm. but they're officially on level two okay we okay. can always do everything that you would like okay <laughs> <laughs> You're here to please, okay? Yes, yes. And, and so it's, especially in an area, you know, such as El Paso, where we are a border city, mm-hmm. and, you know, and you do run across, you know, a lot of people that are speaking Spanish. So for our military community to be able to take this um, Spanish class and to be able to go out in the, um, on the economy and be able to communicate with those who may not speak English is a wonderful thing and like you said it's a free class so but i like something you know prior to us starting to record you had mentioned something about accents (laughs) and i just want you to say that to to our (laughs) listeners because i i love how you put that in perspective with people who are you know kind of shy about their accents and how you just embrace your accent. Yes, I know that I have an accent, and hey, I'm guilty and proud of it. <laughs> hey, you, as, as you should be. <laughs> well, what I just said is if you have an accent, um, that means that you speak more than one language. Mm-hmm. So you should be proud of that accent because people will get some, you know, sort of kind of shy to speak Spanish in this case to mm-hmm. someone who speaks Spanish. And they're like, I don't know, because maybe they will laugh and this. And then I'm like, no, 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 be proud. That means that you speak Spanish and another language. Mm-hmm. So right. that's great. <laughs> and, 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 and it doesn't just, like you said, it doesn't just work one way where you have a Spanish accent. Because as I'm saying, you have a Spanish accent. You're probably saying, well, you have an English accent, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just depending on who you're speaking to, exactly. you know, that and, and that would show that, hey, you're bilingual. You, you have the talent of being able to speak multiple languages. And sometimes, sometimes it, it, it becomes a spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, I like yeah. that, a spaghetti. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so... Um, is there anything that you would like our listeners to know about the Spanish class and, you know, that you haven't already said, but some things that you would like them to know or to embrace about um, taking the Spanish with uh, ACS? Well, I would like to say that, first of all, you're in El Paso. This is the greatest way that you can learn Spanish because you have the community around Mm -hmm. Fort Bliss that it is El Paso. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you guys are trying to say something in Spanish to someone and you would say, I don't know, I want to buy that. Oh, quiero comprar eso. But then because of your accent, they're like going to be like, why say that again? You know, and they will enforce you to say it once again (laughs) so it is a great thing Mm -hmm. because if 
you, they don't understand you in Spanish, you can always go back to English and say, hey, I just want to buy that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they will be, oh, okay. Oh, comprar eso. Yes, yes. So, so they're going to reinforce that. what you're trying to say. Yes. So say that again. <laughs> 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 yo, that will be I. Yo quiero, I want. Um, yo. Comprar eso. Like, I want to buy that. Yeah. Comprar. Comprar. Yes. Eso. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Go. I, I told you I'm bilingual. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I might have to sign up for the level two class because I know the basics. Oh, you do? I didn't know that. Look, it's oh. kindergarten <laughs> level. Okay, I, I can totally understand somebody talking to me, but it's me having the conversation back. Okay. I get nervous, and then I go to, like, kindergarten style. Like, it's too basic, and they're just like, lady. And I was like, I'm sorry. I don't know how to... You can now always act like you're a little kid and don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> so sometimes I do. I'm just like, oh, I don't speak Spanish because of the level that I'm at. Right. I'm probably like a level one. So. Okay. So okay. so there again, something that Jasmine didn't realize mm -hmm. that she needed to go to level two. I didn't even know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys are like, yeah, we have Spanish classes. I'm just like, what? Like, <laughs> sitting here telling my grandma I can't speak to my grandma because she speaks nothing about Spanish. Oh. Yeah. So I'm just like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Grandma, that's too fast. <laughs> Slow it down. Yeah. Yes, so. you can always, uh, that's what I say to my students. Hey, do you remember back in the day, it wasn't that back when Daddy Yankee that had that yeah. song, Despacito. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So, I love Despacito. Okay, so you can just say, oh, Despacito, Despacito, and that means that, you know, please slow it down. What? I didn't yes. know that's what that meant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I had a Jasmine moment. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> I'm singing this song and don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a bad word. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you would think that. There's a lot of songs. So Despacito means slow, slow down. down. Yes. Oh. oh. Because we, we, use, we use the ito and the ande. Uh -huh. Oh. Perrito, el gatito, yes, yes. la niñita, and, and the ito, that's the small. That's an endearment. Chiquita, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Chiquita and all that. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's just saying whatever it is, but smaller. Mm -hmm. Like instead, uh, notebook in Spanish, it will be libreta. Libreta. Exactly. Uh -huh. Now, because you have a small notebook, you will say libretita. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll stick with small notebook. <laughs> I don't want to butcher that. <laughs> so, okay. So, of course, you know, during COVID, you've been teaching online. Mm -hmm. um, and how has that worked? Do, are your students still able to embrace um, getting it online, getting uh, embrace the language by coming online with it? Uh, well, yes. And I have proof. I have a lot of students. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> but yes, um, at the beginning, when we started online things, you know, it was, you know, it was a change. Right. But for me, I took it as a challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to embrace it and we're going to make it fun. And, and they're going to want to come back to right. the next class. So um, everything that at least I do mm -hmm. on my class, the practices, the quizzes, everything, it's online. Okay. So... If you're going to take out my class, it's going to be like, hey, everything is completely online. You don't have to scan nothing. You don't have to do nothing by hand. No, 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 no. I'm just going to send you the link and just click and it will take you there. Awesome. Yeah, I'll make it very easy for okay. my students. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any questions? Any more questions? No, Jasmine? I'm excited. I though. am too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even take class. I'm excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. But okay, so, you know, lately... Again, thank you for joining us. Um, I always like to me. ask, <laughs> what brings you joy about being our Spanish instructor? Oh, my God. My students. My students. Um, it is when you have your student taking the, the level one and you will see their progress like, like with a huge growth in a small time frame because it's only 10, Ten weeks. weeks yeah um you will i get so surprised and because level one at the end they have some special um presentations that they have to do right and 
it is not like, for example, they will do the presentation and that's it. No. After you do your presentation, I will ask Jasmine, what did she say? You know? Okay. That way, everyone is engaged in the class. Mm -hmm. um, but for level two, it is so wonderful because at the end of the semester, one of the finals is to have a conversation with me one-on-one. -on -one. And they, oh my God, I'm so like excited. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm gonna do something that my students know. I do a round of applause. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. do a, a, round. a round of applause. <laughs> and yes, and, and they get so excited because they're like, oh my God, I didn't know that I was able to do this in 10 weeks. Wow. So yeah. Okay, so that's awesome. And then I'm gonna ask you something that I haven't asked anyone else. Yes. And I probably won't ask anyone else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you say getting to know ACS in Spanish? Getting to know ACS in Spanish. It will be... Um, or loosely vamos. trans... Yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah, I'm going to uh, loosely yeah. translate. Okay. So it's going to be vamos a conocer a ACS. Woo, woo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what she said. Okay. <laughs> So, again, Laylee, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming out and speaking with us. For those of you who are interested in signing up for our Spanish classes, again, you can go to the Bliss MWR website. Yes. Or you can call um, ACS, yes. pick option zero, and they'll get you signed up for that for um, the next coming up semester, whenever that is. All right? Yes. So, Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I'm so <laughs> excited. I'm here. Well, yes, we loved having you. So, yes. so until next time, this is Tracy. And Jasmine. Don't forget to hit that notification and that bell. All right. Bye. Bye.